Lots of dudes contributed to Ohio State's dominating win over Nebraska. All the five stars. Let's talk about some guys who aren't five stars, like Josh Allaby, who started at right tackle. Pretty good, right, Nathan Baird? Yeah, and we don't know exactly. I meant to ask Ryan Day tonight. My question didn't get uh, picked for the, the post game tonight. But uh, we don't know exactly when the decision was made that he was going to start. Brandon Bowen was warming up tonight, but was not able to go game time decision. We know midweek there was some kind of development, and he really rose to the occasion. A guy who's done this before come in in a spot start and helped uh, Ohio State win a Rose Bowl. And tonight he was a guy who was helping set the edge, um, leading to a big night from this Russian group, leading to a, a, a very well-protected passing night for, for Justin Fields, and, and shows that the, this offensive line has the kind of depth that it's going to need to get through a season. Because you can't. it's not five guys. you got to have seven, eight nine guys to really get through a season. That's a fifth-year senior who did that. On the depth chart, it would tell you that Nick petit Frere as a sophomore is the backup right tackle. Alibi is the backup left tackle. Were you surprised at all that it was Alibi who got the start instead of petit Frere? Does that make sense on the road in a tough environment you go with a veteran? Yeah, that's exactly right. I think, again, you got a guy who has literally started in a Rose Bowl. I know he's not your regular starter, but a fifth-year senior uh, has been on, on the biggest stage before. And if you had any question about you know, these wet conditions in an environment like this, 90,000 people, they've been selling this thing out for, for 60 years or whatever. If you had any question that whether a redshirt freshman was going to be able to rise the occasion there, go with the older guy with more experience. And I thought he really uh, not just wasn't just adequate tonight. I thought he was out there really kind of leading the way at times. Leading the way for... J.K. Dobbins, another guy from that number two recruiting class in the country, that 2017 class, 24 carries, 177 yards, no touchdowns. Master T got both of those. But ever since the second week of the season, J.K. Dobbins has been running like a maniac. He's turning seven-yard gains into nine-yard gains and 10-yard gains into 12-yard gains. Yes, the offensive line opened up those holes, but once he got to that second level, he made guys miss. He had, he had hard runs, and he's been running the way that they talked about he would run all summer long. Really got to the edge made the most of it. Um, Defensively, Baron Browning, there was just one play where he was spying Adrian Martinez, the, the dynamic Nebraska quarterback who wasn't very dynamic tonight. But he wasn't dynamic because Ohio State had so many dynamic players, they, they shut him down. And it just was an example. Malik Harrison did it later as well. But Ohio State just has a variety of guys that there was a moment where it's like, you know, Chase Young's getting after you, and here you are. You, you can run. You're uh, an athletic quarterback. And then when you try to escape, like Baron Browning is waiting for you. And they just had opportunities like that where they have layers of talent, right? They have some really elite first-round draft pick guys. But then they have this second group of guys that showed up all over the place tonight. And that's how you win a game like this in this kind of fashion. Nathan, Steven, Doug, more coming. It's Michigan State this coming week. Make sure you're trying my texts. Cleveland.com slash OSU. Find out about it. 14-day free trial. See you later at Cleveland.com.